Hello! Um, so this is our first arts and crafts video because Charlene's home one it editing yeah. fails. Editing is not happening right now, people. <laughs> Yes, so um, we're doing a skull thing on a bit of canvas. Um, we've already started half of it. it. Looks like that right now. So what we just did, we just drew on a outline of a skull, just a rough one. We didn't use a stencil or anything like that. And then we've just got these little sticky gems. They're like little sticky pearls. You can get gems, you can get diamonds, whatever. And we just stuck those on individually as teeth. Just with the sticky on the back, we didn't hot glue gun them on or anything. And then we just got the hot glue gun and we've outlined the sketch that we've done and we've started to put gold leaf on it, which is really tedious, but it looks really, really good. So hopefully we can show you when it's all done. It's really simple to do, guys, and it total cost about $5, I think, Yeah. for, for everything. These gems are like $2.50 at a craft store, the canvas is $2.50, and the gold leaf is $2.00. So six dollars fifty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're gonna just show you now Which how we do it. Okay. So we just take some glue. You just follow the outline that you've drawn on. And it doesn't matter if the glue is thick or thin, just yeah. as long as it's on the outline. Yeah. Because you're gonna cover it up with gold leaf anyway. So. And then you take a little focus the tiniest bit of gold leaf and all you have to do is press it down on top of the glue oh and it's not real gold leaf <laughs> that's of why course. it costs $2.50 yeah. it's imitation gold leaf which you could probably get at your craft store if you do get a big chunk like that just push it in towards the outline like that and it should just fold in and the imperfections make it look really cute so so we're going to finish gold leafing the edges and we'll see you with the rest of it. Okay, so we're back. Um, we okay. finished doing the outline. There we are. And we were, sorry, we just had to discuss whether what we were going to do for the eyes. So what we're going to do is going to take this gold glitter paint that I got from the craft store, 250 for a set of six. And we're just going to paint the inside of the eyes. And then after it's painted, we're going to sprinkle gold glitter on top of it. Just, it's like pretty important to get it precise, the, the glue as to where you want it. Otherwise you're going to get like weird glitter bits. Glitter, and... little glitter bits everywhere. And just don't use too much glue because you don't need that much glue. Just a little bit. Um, gold. Okay, which gold? Which gold, Sam? That gold. This gold? Because it looks like real gold. The other one's more like a copper. So we're taking this. I got this at the craft store for $2.50. Like this whole heap of glitter. Alright, I'm sprinkling. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Be generous. You don't want a bare spot. <laughs> A balding spot. <laughs> you don't want a bald spot on your skull, okay? Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, now that we've been generous with that, let's see how it worked out. And now you just gotta tap it off. If it looks bad, we're just gonna stop the video right now. <laughs> that looks, wow. That looks awesome. Wow. Let's do it again. So taking a brush and the glitter paint. You... And we have like an angled brush. This is just an angled um, painter's brush. So it's like for painting houses, for edges and corners and that sort of stuff. And you can just get one at a craft store or like a hardware store. Can you turn the flash on and see if this does anything to the... Okay, the flash doesn't want to turn on. There we go. It doesn't even do anything. You can't see the... Yeah. So painting in the shape of the eye... I feel like a, it's a makeup tutorial. Like, so we're just gonna prime the lid <laughs> to make just sure priming the the uh, small skull eye area just to make sure that the glitter pigment does stick and doesn't crease. Oh no! I did something naughty. I got it here. Okay, we don't know how to fix this mistake. <laughs> oh, we'll just paint over it black. 
oh, area. There we go. We fixed the mistake. How do I... Should I do that? Or should I just wait for that little area to dry? Or I did a boo-boo. Someone's coming. Oh, it's my mom. It's my mommy. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to try not maybe, to sprinkle it on that side. Oh, maybe I'll just put my finger there or something. Yeah, can you do that? That would be great. The less we get on there, the better. It's easier to get this out of the bag, but just don't waste your glitter. I know yeah. it's cheap, but just don't waste it. <laughs> Glitter is precious. How do they make glitter? Do they capture I light? I was just thinking about that the other day. <laughs> I know that's so strange, but I really was. I was thinking, how do they make it? Like, what do they do? Do they tap it to my side so you don't get the okay. yeah? Tap off any excess. Okay, so there's a little bit, but if you just Move it, like with your fingernail, you should be able to just scratch it. Scrape it to the side. Scrape it to where it's supposed to go. And that's okay. And yeah. it looks great. Good. The same with the eyes, just paint where just you want to fill in. this. Just paint it on where you're filling it in. But I think that's a beautiful day, you may say. Yes, I think it's Does it look like me? Definitely. Which one is it? It's one of our cousins, actually. <laughs> Please? Pretty. Okay, well. The pretty. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we'll see you later. Bye!